So the last one is now just dealing with the definite interval. Um, again, so we're going to evaluate this from 0 to 3 halves. First, we have to do our integration. So again, you've got the x squared and the x underneath the radical. So we're going to have to complete the square on the denominator. Again, what we need to do is factor out that negative sign. So that's going to give us an x squared minus 6x. So to complete my square, it's going to be negative 6 divided by 2 squared, which is going to give me uh, 9. So I'm going to add 9 inside the parentheses. But really what I've done here is I've, add, I've subtract. This is really a negative 9 once I distribute it. So when I rewrite this integral of 0, <coughs> excuse me, to 3 halves, 1 over the square root of, <coughs> excuse me, the negative x minus 3 squared. But remember, this is a minus 9, so I have to add 9 to keep this fraction equivalent. So it's a negative 9 plus 9. So now it's set up to be look like your inverse sign. So remember, this 9 has to be a 1, so I'm going to factor a 9 out of the denominator. So I have 0 to 3 halves, 1 over <coughs> the square root. Again, I'm going to take out the 9. And I'm just going to rearrange the order, putting this as 1 minus x minus 3 to the second power, all over 9 dx. So the constant I can pull out is 1 over the square root of 9, which is a 1 third. So I have 1 over the square root of 1, <coughs> excuse me, minus, and I'm going to rewrite this fraction as an x minus 3 over 3 to the second power dx. Now I can do a u sub. I'm going to let u be equal to x minus 3 over x, or 3, excuse me, x minus 3 over 3. My du will be 1 third dx. When I divide out the 1 third, that means I'm going to multiply my integral by 3. So I'm going to be left with my integral from 0 to 3 halves, 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared du. Now remember, when I change my integral in terms of u, I've got to change my bounds. So in terms of x, the bounds were 3 halves to 0. Remember, u is equal to x minus 3 over 3. So when I rewrite my bounds, I have 3 halves minus 3 all over 3. So this is going to give me 3 minus 6 over 6. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 minus 6 is a negative 3 over 6, which is a negative 1 half. So then my new upper bound is going to be a negative 1 half. In terms of 0, when I plug in 0, 0 minus 3 over 3, that's going to give you a negative 1. So my bounds are now going to be from negative 1 to negative 1 half of 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared du, which is my inverse sign. Inverse sign, and again, remember, u is now my x minus 3 over 3. Oh, no, in terms of u, never mind, u. From negative 1 half to negative 1. So now I'm going to find my inverse sign of negative 1 half minus my inverse sign of negative 1. So my inverse sign of negative 1 half is negative pi over 6 minus inverse sign of negative 1 is going to be negative pi over 2. So negative negative becomes a positive. So negative pi over 6 plus pi over 2.